the whole city was aflame. And I was just about to write my story when a young boy in the flat where I'd taken refuge came running and said, there's something you've got to see. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon of the Sunday. And I said to him, I really, you know, I've seen enough. I, um, no, you must come. So with a certain amount of ill humor, I followed this boy and headed up what's called the walking street to the point where a few days earlier, a Serb mortar had hit a crowd of people queuing for bread. There, to my astonishment, in this utterly deserted street was a man in full evening dress on a steel chair right on the spot where the mortar hit, playing a cello, playing Albinani's Adagio. I was terrified to be there. I hid in the lee of the buildings on the side from which the artillery fire was coming, and there was literally mortar, mortars exploding into the masonry all around. When he was done, he picked up his cello and came over to me and said, what on earth are you doing? He said, well, you know that um, many of my fellow citizens died here, and I am the leading cellist of the Sarajevo, Sarajevo Symphony Orchestra. Um, and that's all I know what to do, is play a cello. <laughs> <laughs>